What's good, YouTube? It is your boy Swiftly back with another NBA 2K25 video. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to turn your shot meter off, as well as turn the shot feedback and all those things on. Because I've seen so many people complaining on Twitter and on the NBA 2K subreddit that they don't know where to go to turn uh, their meter off or whatever. And if you don't do this, you will have that little triangle, that, that little triangle thing, which is like the default meter or whatever. So what you want to do is you want to go to features. And then it is not in controller settings. Don't ask me why it's not in controller settings, but it's not in controller settings. Um, it's not in regular settings either. You're going to have to come all the way down here to features at the bottom where it says customize HUD. And then in here, you're going to, uh, first thing you're going to do is go to shot feedback and turn your shot feedback on. Uh, if you prefer to have this, uh, you know, HUD on your menu so you can see how far you're shooting from if you release your shot late early very late and how contested it was if it was uh lightly contested wide open open or whatever so i like to have sh uh, shot feedback for all shots not just mine because then when my teammates are shooting dumbass shots i can be like why are you shooting 100 percent smothered so i keep all of these coverages on distance timing free throw chance and coverage Free throw chance too, so you know, you know, just how likely you are to make the free throw, whether it's 40%, 60%, 80%. So when you miss that 89% free throw, you can get mad at 2K and, you know, curse out Ronnie 2K because you're missing 89% free throw. Meanwhile, the other person on the other team is making 42% free throws and shit. So you want to turn your shot feedback on. And then finally, you're just going to go for shot meter shots. You're going to just edit this. Now, you can choose what uh, shot meter you have. Obviously, this is the default one, which is the arrow. They have the ring one, if you want the ring. And then they have the dial one as well, too. Um, you can change the color of your, uh, your meter and everything to orange, purple, yellow, green, or whatever color you want. You can also, excuse me, change the size to make it larger so you can see it better. Or you can make it smaller so you can pay attention more to your jump shot versus uh paying attention to the actual meter and then you can choose where you place it at you can have it you know by your head uh you can have it below your feet or whatever or you can have it to the side which is the default me personally i'm taking i'm taking this off for jump shots i'm taking my meter off and then i like to have the meter for uh layups and free throws or whatever so i guess i would i would try to find like whatever is the best graphic for me for like layups and free throws well, not free throws, but for layups, because I like to use the uh, meter for layups. I don't use a meter for my jump shots or free throws, but this is how you go to change, uh, you know, your meters and whatnot like that. Hopefully, this helps you guys, you know, for those of you who are struggling to figure out how you turn your meter off. I personally was also struggling to find out where I had to go to turn it off before I found this, like, maybe 10 minutes into, like, screwing around in the menus and stuff like that. But be sure to check out the channel and don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more NBA 2K25 content. I'm out, y'all. Peace.